well, I think it must be spring. <laughs> We're on the bloody phone calls, chasing bees all over the countryside. We got some poor lad that's got some bees in a stump at his blooming rental house. And of course, the people that are renting his home have got two little kids and they're having a little meltdown. So we're on the bee rescue trip yet again. Here we go. Uh, anyway, hopefully it's not too big a bloody circus, but we'll find out together very shortly. Let's see what's going on here in the big metropolis of Barmara. I don't know, he said there's a little stump in the front yard. A little old stump that's been cut down. It doesn't look like that's been cut down. <laughs> Can you see any bees? <laughs> oh crap. Yeah, just a little stump. Fuck me. <laughs> God. Oh, John. Oh, golly. <laughs> oh, man. I wonder how long they've been in there. This could be entertaining. Fuck. They have not just arrived. Because there's enough, there's some traction marks on the outside of this stump. Oh well, anyway, I suppose if we cut its head off, find out where the hell we're up to. It's fairly solid at the top here. I'm just thinking, I'm wondering how solid the bloody thing is. It's a decent nest, you can see them here. <laughs> Golly gosh. Just wondering how desperate they are for this to happen today. Maybe we should go home and regroup, <laughs> make up our little vacuum cleaner thing. I'm just thinking, I don't even think I've brought, I only brought it bloody <laughs> the fuel that's in the chainsaw. I don't know that I've brought any more to fill it up. I'm just expecting a little stump that we could cut off. I mean, bloody hell, how far down here do we go? Hello, babies. Look at them. This is going to be massive. I only bought a new box. <laughs> it was like, just like, oh, hell. Ah, fuck. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I'll tell you what, if we cut this off, we're going to make a hell of excitement. They're all bringing back pollen and everything. They've been here for ages. This is definitely not a new swarm. They didn't just turn up here the other day because they've got heaps of traction marks here. Well, I had been playing around with a new BVAC plan. I guess today's as good a day as any to go and put it together and come back and rescue these girls out of this stump. Oh man, just disconnect my phone, honestly. <laughs> We're back here again. <laughs> Did you bring your wallet? Because you're paying. <laughs> Where the hell would we go? We're in the cleaning aisle. <laughs> oh, here we go. We can get an easy steamer. <laughs> What's this bloody thing here? That's what we want, isn't it? Here's the friggin' go button. Oh, how do you... It's got fluff in there. Vaxi blade. <laughs> how do you do? Shh, here I steam them out. <laughs> so we've got a robo... a robo thing. How the hell are we going to hook that? I was hoping it would have a cord. <sighs> That's a bit enthusiastic. $350 investment. All in one brushless cordless stick vacuum cleaner. Jeepers. <laughs> Vax blade, that's that thing at the back there, isn't it? <laughs> that's that one. That's still 250 bucks. Jeepers. Well, I suppose it's going to be a little bit enthusiastic to call this vacuum cleaner, isn't it? Hell, I don't know. I'm just thinking it might be cheaper 
and more convenient to buy ourselves a little a little baby vacuum cleaner and a little generator to drive it. Then we'll have a generator and a vacuum cleaner. What's that? 250 watt inverter technology. No, no, it's still alone. Anyway, that's 500 bucks, not $120. <laughs> Maybe not. I was looking at the wrong sign. There's an air compressor. I don't know. Maybe we'll just attack the stump. <laughs> Scoop them out. You reckon? I think if we're going to do anything, we'll get that back little a smaller version of what we've already got and find a power cord but i reckon that'd be the best more sensible and it's got a hose and we'll just have to see if we can find an outdoor power point i don't reckon you want to spend 350 bucks on that bloody thing Shit, that's a bit excitable it's got a nice long meter and a half cord and it might be a bit more sensible than our massive big one well i reckon that'll work <laughs> a bit better a bit better sucker upper <laughs> A little bit easier to carry. <laughs> well, here we are back at the snazzy workshop. <laughs> We've done the shopping trip. <laughs> We've got ourselves a little vacuum cleaner. I guess we should open this up and see what trouble we've bought. <clears throat> at least we've got a three year warranty. <laughs> Just imagine going back in there, all full of big, big stuff and going, I do think your vacuum cleaner works quite well. <laughs> Didn't like sucking up bees. This might be a little bit more sensible size vacuum cleaner than that other big beast we had. How do we get this out of here? <laughs> We've got an extension pipe. Oh, come on. It's all shiny and new. It's only a small little hose. Pew, doesn't work. <laughs> How the bloody hell do you get this open? There. We've got reserves as the bees get this far. <laughs> well, oh. Hello, I'm in the middle of a big structure. There's a few bees loose, but there's no need to panic. Meant to be a bit stupid, isn't it? Look, we've even got a detachable handle. Some construction needed. Is that what that usually says, isn't it? Oh! I doubt that we're going to need our wheels. <laughs> I don't think we need that. I don't know where that goes. What the hell is that bit? It's a joiny up bit. Uh, anyway, the only excitement I can envision, well, not the only excitement, one of the excitements that I can see with this idea is we have to make sure that we can actually get power. This, we're all, we're safe, you see, the label says this product is intended for DIY use only. See, that's, DIY stands for do it yourself. So we are going to be doing it ourselves, <laughs> sucking up bees. But... Fear not, I'm not just gonna suck the bees straight into this little vacuum cleaner. I have got an even more insane idea. So this is just the vacuum cleaning source. The other day we were in the shop and it was sort of towards the end of winter and they were getting rid of these ash picker upperers from the fires reasonably cheap. And I thought, hmm, maybe, maybe we could use this to be a bee. It's an ash buster, but I thought it might become the bee buster. Check this shit out. <laughs> So we've, we've, we've downsized a fair bit from our first attempt, but anyway, it's almost part of the song, isn't it? Like back when we had the whole, the bee buster, ghost busters, bee busters. Now I've even got the piece of machinery that says buster. How bloody good's that? Even though I'm not allowed to sing that song, am I? Because that's probably really famous. So we've got it in. Oh, we've got to change that. We're going to have to put B on here, aren't we? If we just chop that off, what do you reckon? Just put B Buster. <laughs> oh, man. Bet ourselves a little ash catcher. Bloody hell. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get very far up in the house with that little bit, are we? More of a neck place than a hose, isn't it? Anyway, that's not gonna bloody work. This hose will be the right length. If it goes in there, which way is which? That way. 
So that's going to go in there. And I reckon this is going to go in here, hopefully. Ooh, that's a nice snug fit. <laughs> right. Now all we need is some power to see how hard this thing sucks. Oh, I happen to have one I prepared earlier. Well, not really. I was here drilling something the other day. That's one of the advantages of not putting shit away. Are you ready? Why did that make a weird noise? All oh, the stuff's on the bottom. I don't know. I don't think that's sucking as hard as... That was not sucking at all. What the hell happened then? <laughs> Hang on, that's way too bloody weird. Actually, that might be good. I was just wondering why it was losing pressure, but I reckon it's going down and sucking straight on the whole thing. Well, that's a pretty piss poor design, but anyway, that might actually be perfect for us. We could actually, what if we drew a little hole? Cut a little slit out of there, and then it can sit down and only suck a little bit. Or maybe you could be in charge of wriggling that as we're going along. We won't actually do it here, but we'll take a knife with us so we can if we get excited. My idea was we were just going to put a hole in this pipe to change the suck. But we might not need to because it's not sucking that quite as crazy. But the problem we have is it's a little bit of a short dingle. You know, I know they say that size and length doesn't matter, but in this case it does. We just might have to go and see if we can find a decent thing to suck with. I reckon we had that other hose on the other. That looks about right. Oh, cool, it undoes. <laughs> Let's just go and get that other hose that we used the other day. And we'll, um, yeah. Well, hopefully that bloody fitting goes on there, otherwise it's gonna suck. Hold that thought. <laughs> I think this might be a little bit too long. Anyway, I suppose we can cut it when we're there if it doesn't work. Well, first of all, we should see if the fitting fits. That'd be a good idea. It's not quite right, but it's not terrible. Maybe we can jam it in there. Oh, golly, come on. Golly, gosh. One hose is too small and one hose is too big. You can never be pleased. Woo Fabulous, there we go. That's much more sensible than the last big one. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> that funny little 12 volt converter thing would never run this, would it? No. Would it? I don't know. <laughs> right, well, I reckon we want that end as well. So we'll stick this on here as well, I think. It's not really meant to go on there. Right, there we go. Whew. Oh, it's just a bit of persistence and it can slip in. We will, we will suck you. Well, that'd have to be the roughest bit of bloody bush bee man vacuum cleaner bee sucker ever. But anyway, I've got these jolly bees that I've got to go and suck. So we'll see you shortly and hopefully we're Got a bee buster and <laughs> it's gonna be all good or it might be all shit too. <laughs> what do I normally say? Might be good, might be shit. Hell, I reckon I've even got a t-shirt and a coffee mug that says that now. Room neck. Anyway, off we go.